Hello and thanks for joining me for another Lightspeed product guide. In this episode, we're covering one of our latest products, the MHX series of stainless steel mirror mounts. Let's see what this new family of mounts has to offer. The MHX series of mirror mounts were developed to be exceptionally stable while still having lots of useful features. Basically one mount for both our research and OEM customers. We started with a super alloy stainless steel for its low CTE and high stiffness, but we didn't stop there. In order to maximize stiffness and expedite thermal equilibrium, we departed from the standard frame design used by the other manufacturers and tried something new, a hollow frame. The hollow frame allows the mount to have a higher moment of inertia to improve stiffness but also has thinner sections and more surface area to expedite reaching thermal equilibrium. The hollow frame also allowed for other key features like center post mounting as well as providing protection for the front plate so it literally, can never be knocked off its kinematic points. Even with all of these features, one of the best perks of the MHX is that they are all affordably priced under 120 US dollars. Not too bad. Now let's talk about the ordering options for the MHX. As you might have guessed from the previous photo, MHX mounts are currently available in two sizes, half inch diameter and one inch diameter. The numeric portion of the part number identifies the mount's diameter in millimeters. Both mount sizes have front loading and rear loading versions. A rear loading mount ensures that the mirror's reflective surface always remains in the same plane regardless of the mirror's thickness. It's a good choice for optical systems designers. The rear loading versions are designated by the dash or suffix in the part number. And of course, we provide two axis and three axis versions for both sizes. The three axis version provides the option to translate the mirror in addition to just angular adjustment. Since not everyone needs knobs and locks we decided to provide them separately so you only pay if you need them. Therefore, when you purchase an MHX mount, say the MHX 25.4 FR, you get the basic version with hex key adjusters. If you are setting up an application where the mount will need to have frequent adjustments, you'll want to get the optional knobs. They screw directly onto the end of the adjuster, and after just a couple of turns, you're good to go. The knobs are sold in packs of three under part number MHX KM6. Please note that the knobs are only available for the 1-inch MHX mount. If your application requires more of a set and forget mount, you'll want to get the locks which are also sold in packs of 3. Locks are available for both half and 1-inch mounts. In case you're wondering, knobs and locks can be used together on the same adjustment screw. Now, before we move on, it's a good time to bring up another convenient feature of the MHX mounts. The hex key sizes all match, allowing you to use the same Allen wrench for multiple functions, like clamp the mirror, turn the adjustment screw, and set the lock. For the MHX 25.4 mounts, it's a 2mm Allen wrench and for the MHX 12.7, it's a 1.5mm Allen wrench. On the subject of competitors mounts, we wanted to see how well our features stacked up against theirs. We looked at the two main stainless steel mounts. We'll call them Mount A and Mount B. Comparisons were made, point for point against the MHX. Generally, we found the other mounts to be fairly comparable until we saw that they did not provide the key features we talked about earlier, which were center point mounting, adhesive access wells, or the dowel pin alignment holes. Another detriment we found with other mounts was when they were directly screwed down on a flat surface, like an optical table, the bottom knobs interfered and could not be turned. For the MHX, it was no problem, no interference and smooth turning. Sure, it's not a big deal but is worth mentioning. In the final part of the comparison, we checked pricing and, wow! Even with the extra features the MHX has, the other mounts were 15 to 20% more expensive. Go figure! As I mentioned before, the MHX was designed with both researchers and OEM customers in mind. We see them used for research applications in ion trapping as well as in OEM applications with ultra-fast laser systems. With their compact size, excellent stability, and feature-rich design, it seems the MHX will find its way into many more applications in the future. By the way, I've heard a rumor that a new 2-inch MHX is coming soon so check back at Optosigma.com. Well, that's it. Thanks again for joining me for this light speed product guide on the MHX mirror mounts. I hope you found it informative and useful. See you soon.